Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna talk about natural fibers. So we're gonna go over some of the most common, which include cotton, linen, wool, cashmere, and silk. We're gonna to touch on why I love them and why I think they're essential for a long-lasting wardrobe, and then how you can spot the highest quality possible for those individual fibers. So let's start things off with why I think they're so important. So natural fibers, especially when compared to their synthetic counterparts, are really just incredibly beneficial for a long-lasting wardrobe. I think they have so many wonderful properties about them that make them a great choice. And a few of those include that they're easier to care for when done correctly. They tend to last longer. They're biodegradable. They're nicer to the environment. They're also more sustainable than synthetic fibers. And they're also less toxic to us and the environment. Plus, some natural fibers are considered to be self-cleaning. They have antimicrobial properties that really allow us to wash them less, which really does stretch the longevity of the piece. So now let's hop into some of my favorite natural fibers and the ways I like to spot the highest quality possible. So first up is cashmere. You know how much I love cashmere. It just feels so soft on the skin. It's really comfortable to wear. It's breathable, but it's also warm. And I think that it's by far one of the um, best fabrics to choose when it comes to sweaters and even jackets and blazers. So good quality cashmere will be super soft because this softness comes from the length of the fibers and the best cashmeres use long, thin fibers. Also, it should feel thick and densely woven. To test the strength of the fabric, you can pull on it a little bit and a higher quality cashmere will bounce back. It won't lose its shape and kind of end up with a mark where your hands were. And then you can also check the tag to make sure that it's two ply or one ply. One ply will be more prone to developing holes because it is thinner, but typically if you see a great deal on cashmere and you think that it's almost too good to be true, it's probably gonna be a one ply and it might be thin and it might be missing some of the other distinguishing factors that you should look for in high quality cashmere. So definitely keep that in mind and pay close attention to all of those details. Unless of course, well, even if you are shopping secondhand, but if you're shopping secondhand, it's easier to find amazing quality cashmere at a very good price point. Next up is wool and technically cashmere is a wool because it comes from an animal but for the sake of this video I'm referring to anything that's non cashmere and used for sweaters and coats so it's more durable than cashmere it will typically last longer they come from a bunch of different animals and there's a lot more variety in terms of texture than there is for cashmere but also the highest end wool will be merino which will be really fine the finer the wool the higher the quality Quality, and that's why you'll see names ranging from fine merino wool to ultra fine being the highest. And then to confirm the quality of the wool, check the label, make sure that it is 100% wool or 100% natural fiber. So it's okay if it's wool mixed with cashmere, another natural fiber like that. And then also wool should be thick and it should bounce back when pulled slightly. Similarly to cashmere, it shouldn't be left with a big mark in it where your hands were. And then also the weave should be dense and tight. So you don't want things that are too flimsy when it comes to sweaters and especially when it comes to sweaters and natural fibers you want things to be very cleanly knitted and also very dense because that tends to allow the fabric to last longer through multiple wears and washes and it just really helps stretch the piece Next up is silk, and I love silk, especially when it comes to tops. I find that it can be a little too warm, a little too suffocating kind of when it comes to bottoms. So unless um, a skirt has a lining, I tend to avoid it in my pants and skirts, but for tops, I really love it. And I think that it's just a lovely way to add texture and visual interest to an outfit. So I have a couple silk pieces that I've had for a very long time, and I really love them. It's definitely a fabric worth contributing, worth bringing into your wardrobe if you feel like you're kind of working with all of the same textures and it's also a great way to break up heavier knits, especially during the warmer months. Now, the quality of silk is determined by the weight and it's a little bit tricky to find that information um, readily available. Most retailers aren't willing to give that up very easily, so it's not on the tag and it's very rarely on a website. So I find the fastest way to determine the quality of silk is to really feel the weight in your hand. It should feel substantial. It shouldn't feel super thin and it should also be really soft. Also, it should be fairly opaque, especially if it is a darker color and you shouldn't be able to see completely through it when you hold it up to the light. You will get some transparency, especially if it is a lighter colored blouse, but it shouldn't be like, oh my gosh, there's my hand on the other side of the shirt and I can see everything straight through it because that does usually indicate that the fabric is a little too thin to last longer than maybe a couple seasons. Next up is linen. Linen is hands down my favorite fabric for the warm 
warmer months and there's a good reason for that it's oftentimes considered nature's um, natural wicking fabric because it automatically collects up to 20% of the moisture in the air and on our bodies before it starts to feel wet. So if you've ever worn linen and then also cotton in very, very hot, humid climates, you'll notice that the cotton will feel wet and a little bit sticky and drapey faster than the linen, and that's why. So I really love it. Even though it wrinkles like crazy, it's an absolute essential for me during the hot weather. Linen also gets stronger when it's wet, which is great when you're wearing it in very hot, sticky weather. and then also, it does have antimicrobial properties, which help eliminate odors and stains. Um, I should also mention that wool and cashmere have those same properties to a certain extent, which is great because it definitely does stretch the longevity. You don't get that kind of stinky sweater smell <laughs> quite as quickly. And then also, um, linen is a very breathable fabric, like I mentioned, and it allows air to move in and out easily, which makes it perfect for year-round wear, especially when layered with wool and cashmere during the colder months. Now, to spot high quality linen, it can be helpful to identify the country of origin. France and Belgium are considered the best environments for growing flax, which is the plant that linen is made from. And then Ireland and Italy are recognized as the best for weaving the flax into linen. Now, also, the dye when looking at a linen piece should be even and rich. Frosting, which is a color change in some areas of the fabric, is a common problem with some linen because it can be hard to dye. So oftentimes, if the linen is black, it has been dyed with sulfur dyes, which can weaken the fabric and turn into sulfuric acid, which will eat the fabric if it's not properly neutralized after dyeing. So definitely keep that in mind. And then also look out for any yellowing on white linens because that discoloration can't be reversed. And then when you touch the fabric and crush it in your hand and then let it go, real linen will wrinkle, but it will also spring back slightly. And then because it is a moisture wicking fabric, like I mentioned earlier, it should feel slightly cool to the touch because it should be gathering the moisture from the atmosphere. And then last but not least is cotton. I love cotton. It is a fabric that I wear very comfortably all year round. It's very breathable, much like linen, and it's very easy to layer up or down to insulate or allow yourself to breathe. So even if I do layer up my cotton pieces, I still get that breathability that I really like from my clothing. So I feel warm but I don't feel suffocated which I think is a very important distinction to make between um, natural fibers and most synthetics it's something that I really value in natural fibers and cotton I think takes the cake in most cases especially if you are looking for fabrics that you can wear year-round so the most important feature of good quality cotton is the tightness and the length of the fibers the longer the fibers the softer the fabric and if you hold the piece up to the light and you can see straight through it it's likely a lower quality cotton it may shrink or lose its shape after a few wears and washes but high quality cotton will feel soft and not scratchy and then also it should be able to stretch slightly without looking too thin so as I'm sure you know cotton is used in pretty much every garment that you can find from tops to sweaters to pants and I love it in all of them but specifically when it comes to my jeans I really love either 100% cotton or 98% cotton and 2% elastane if I do want a stretchier option. I find that anything above that really doesn't hold its shape very well and it tends to not last as long, but those two blends, or I should say 100% cotton and then that 2% elastane blend are fantastic for longevity. They really wear well, they wash well. I've had a pair of Levi jeans for I think seven, maybe eight years now at this point, I bought them when I first moved to the city and I have worn and washed them constantly, a ton of times, and they are still fantastic. They look great and they still feel just as great as they did the first time that I, that I put them on. So I think that it's definitely important to keep that, that fabrication balance in mind when shopping for jeans if you want them to last um, longer than a couple seasons. Now when it comes to tops, I really love a more substantial cotton. I find that it lasts longer and I have that Brooks Brothers shirt that I've had forever and part of the reason why it's lasted so long is because it's really well made first of all and then also the cotton is just impeccable. So I'm able to wash it appropriately and then also treat stains without having to worry about the fabric um, running out 
too quickly so it doesn't get thin it doesn't get worn out and it's um, definitely something that I look for in my cotton tops when I'm willing to spend a little bit more money and I want them to stick around so you can definitely find cotton tops at a lower price point just keep in mind that they might not last quite as long and then also they might not be as easy to care for so they might shrink they might start to lose their shape slightly and all of those things can definitely impact how long you have a piece in your closet and there you have it that's a very top line crash course in natural fibers why I love them why I think they're essential for a long-lasting wardrobe and I'd love to know in the comments down below what some of your favorites are do you have preferences because of where you live or maybe you just prefer the texture of something else definitely let me know and then also please contribute in the comments down below any tips that you have for making your clothes last a long time so how do you care for these fibers how do you make sure that they look great for as long as possible definitely let us all know and like always thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.